welcome back soon to be eCognition Nerd. Um, we're gonna continue with a classification. We have a project now, right? And what we want to do now is a land cover classification. So very simple, we want to extract water, vegetation and non-vegetation. So three different classes. And we're gonna use so-called processes and algorithms in eCognition. That all is done in the process tree. So you define in the process tree the workflow actually that you want to apply on the data. That's the process tree. If you right click into the process tree, you can say append new and that's gonna append a new process. All right, so we actually gonna start with calculating an index layer. You might have noticed in the project we have four bands, blue, green, red, near. And in the first step, we want to extract water. And we have this algorithm here, index layer calculation, which offers a few different index, predefined index layers. And we have the NDWI here, where we need the green and near infrared band. And that's gonna calculate actually within our project a new raster layer. You see it here on the left hand side, NDWI, I'm gonna try to display that one. And this one is really focusing on water. So it highlights water areas and that's a very helpful layer or it can be a very valuable layer to classify or extract water more efficiently. So that was the first step, calculating this index layer in ecognition. And then I'm gonna append another process to the process tree and now I want to do a segmentation. Segmentation means we're going to create image objects and we're going to use the multi threshold segmentation. This one is pretty straightforward. You use or you define the layer that, that you want to use and we're going to use the NDWI because we first want to classify water and then you can define a threshold. So in this case you can define multiple thresholds. In this case, we're just gonna set one. And we're gonna say everything that's higher than zero gonna be put into the class water. Everything lower is gonna stay unclassified. And uh, you simply can type in the name of the class and then create that class. It also pops up in the class hierarchy window, right here on the right hand side. Execute it. And here we go, we have image objects and already classified water. So that was pretty fast and straightforward, right? We used one layer, one threshold and classified water. So all the blue things that you see here is water. I notice here that with quite small image objects, pixel size, so I'm gonna go back into that process, simply double click it and I'm gonna change the minimum object size to 10. This will then limit the size or limit the minimum size of image objects that can be created using this algorithm to 10 pixels. So you won't have very small image objects if you increase that to, for example, 10. Good, I'm already happy with that first result. And what we are gonna do now is looking at the land cover, right? Vegetation, no vegetation. So we're gonna have three classes finally, water, vegetation, non-vegetation. And again, uh, I'm gonna calculate an index layer. For vegetation, non-vegetation, the NDVI might be helpful, right? The normalized difference vegetation index. And it's all predefined. You have to define which is your red band, which is your near, and then execute it. And you have an additional layer again in your project. All the red areas have high NDVI values and they correspond to the vegetation, right? The green vegetation that you see on top. And low values correspond to lower NDVI values and non vegetation. Okay, as next step, um, you see we have one image object covering vegetation and non-vegetation. We're gonna do another segmentation, simply. And we're gonna use this time the multi-resolution segmentation. This is a widely known and used segmentation algorithm, um, which is fairly 
complex, but we're gonna keep it simple. Um, we simply leave it more or less default. Most important is that you change the domain. The domain defines where you apply an algorithm. And as we have already image objects, we're gonna change that to image object level and choose the class filter unclassified. And that will only create new image objects in our unclassified image object and not in the water area, right? Water is done, we are happy with water and now we wanna do the unclassified image object and reclassify it into non-vegetation and vegetation. And here you see the result. We have very small image objects, so the multi-resolution segmentation creates homogeneous image objects, right? You can play around with the settings that influence the size and shape of the resulting image objects, but the default settings for us are just gonna be fine. And now that we have image objects, actually we can display the information or retrieve the information of these image objects. We could have done that before as well, simply clicking onto an image object and display the information that you like. But now we actually need to come up with a threshold and a feature that will allow us to discriminate vegetation, non-vegetation. I am suggesting to use the NDVI, the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. So you simply can right click into this image object information window down here and display different information about the highlighted image objects. So the highlighted image objects are always in red. You click it and it displays the information of the highlighted one here. So you right click here, select features to display and now you can select features that you want to have displayed. On the left hand side see all the available features and on the right hand side the selected. I'm gonna select the NDVI because I want to use that feature to discriminate vegetation or non-vegetation. And now you see it's changing the NDVI when I click into different objects. And that's because you're clicking on different objects, right? So this one always depicts multiple features that you define uh, for one single object, the highlighted one here. And I see the vegetated area has quite high NDVI values, 0 0.7, 0 0.5. I think that's also vegetation. And uh, I'm simply just gonna try here to use the threshold of 0 0.4, right? Everything higher gonna be vegetation. How to assign a class to image objects? Um, we have different algorithms. We are gonna use the assign class algorithm. And here you define in the domain where you apply it. So in our case, we're not interested in reclassifying water. So I'm setting the class filter to unclassified. And then in the condition, we have to define a feature and a threshold, okay? So the feature that we're gonna use for defining what vegetation is, is the NDVI. And if this is higher equal to 0 0.4. So fairly high NDVI values, then I want to put you into the class vegetation. I haven't created a class vegetation yet, so I'm simply typing it in here. Click somewhere in this process window, and then you can change the color of the class and simply hit okay. After execution, you see some image objects are green now. Uh, this means they're classified as vegetation, and the transparent ones are still unclassified and that fits pretty well. Down here you can change the transparency of your classes. Yeah, looks good. In a final step, I want to put my unclassified image objects into the class non-vegetation, right? Because all the leftovers now, the image objects that haven't been classified, that is non-vegetation. So I use the sign class, simply set the class filter to unclassified. I don't use a condition because I don't need one. All the unclassified shall be put into this class non-vegetation. And there we go. We have a wall-to-wall -wall classification. The whole image is classified now into three different classes. That's a very nice land cover classification. Execution is very fast and congratulations, well done.